Why, hello again to Hager's Hangout. T today we are going to make crispy pre pro skito and mushroom fair valley with garlic bread. I already went ahead and started uh, boiling water so we can throw the pasta in. garlic, mushrooms, we have ourselves some cream, some parmesan cheese, some clip or french roll whatever the heck you call it. They call this, what do they call this thing? Yeah, a, a french roll. Um, del Duca Pro Looks like bacon. <laughs> let's let's call it like it is. It's 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 bacon. I'm calling it bacon, whether it's bacon or not. That's what it is now. Yeah, you, you, you are cooking with Hager, right? Uh, go ahead and open up the Parmesan cheese. Of course, we are gonna have zolota, which is a replacement for the uh, olive oil, salt, pepper, and. After we went ahead and chopped up that stuff, we are going to go ahead and prepare the bread. Let's have a rip open. Yeah, they say put like Pam or something on, on, on the... Uh, baking sheet, but I don't got Pam, I don't got tin foil, and I've never had problem with pizza pan, so whatever. That does not feel like bacon. Oh, that's thin. What the hell is this stuff? This is horrible. If you know what this stuff is, go ahead and comment down below, so therefore you can educate all of us simpletons. This is bad, man. I hope it tastes good, since how can you ruin bacon? Like, this stuff's so weird. This, ah, whatever. Let's see if this surprise stuff fries like bacon. So it says, cook crispy for about one or two minutes. Alrighty. Remove the heat. So I turned off the burner, throwing in the bread. Once the pasta is done, I'll just throw that pasta in the pan. So I'm gonna throw some olive oil in there, also known as my secret ingredient. Clock. Gonna throw my mushrooms in here. Clock. Also going to go ahead, a little bit of pepper, pettits. I'm going to stir this till it browns. I like the fat on bacon. I never understood why people wrap their bacon in like newspaper or paper towel or napkins or a towel or stuff like that since you're ruining the flavor and the purpose of the bacon. You, you don't eat bacon for health. You... You eat bacon for the feel-good taste. Bacon isn't the issue, it's the, moder the moderation. Put a qu quarter of a cup of the juice back into the pan. I'm gonna throw everything in here. The light cream. Parmesan. Put 
the garlic. That's going to be hot, but you know what? I don't want to waste this garlic. And that's pretty much it. That is how easy it is to make this dish. I'm going to take the bread out of the oven. I'm not having the uh, the French bread since I don't enjoy the baked French bread. I tried it in I think my last video and um, just assume it's going to be the same response. Um, but let's try this. All right, it, 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 it's not bad. Um, next time I would use real bacon since this French bacon just doesn't work for me. Maybe I didn't do it right, but how can you screw up bacon? You throw it in a frying pan, throw um, either oil or um, fat in, in the pan and then cook it till it's good. But I don't like this thin, thin, thin bacon. I like the really fat, ju juicy, floppy bacon. But um, but besides that, this is a perfectly legit meal. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye. Welcome. Uh, uh, well, we just finished up a meal and now we're gonna go ahead and try a chocolate and. Um, Mildred, go ahead and pick the next bar and read the flavor. Fruit and nut. So the last one we had was just nuts. Mm -hmm. So this one, I think we already know what we should expect. A little bit of fruit and a little bit of nuts. And hopefully not a little bit of Turkish. <laughs> that was horrible. And it was made out of Shia. Okay, let's see what this says first. Right. There you go. Hmm, I don't know. Okay. I've been going to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> but I've been washing my hands <laughs> even more. <laughs> I've been going to the bathroom a lot. Oh, I don't know. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> We're on video. Alright, so that is the chocolate. <laughs> What is that? Pecan? Mm -mm. I think it tastes like, um, what is it called? Mm. What is it called? I forgot the name. Almonds. That's what's inside it. Wait, it tastes like this. Remember, you gave me, you gave me some cereal? And it was in there, and I was like, mm, I don't really like them. Like this. Raisins. Oh. Tastes like raisins in there. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Dried grapes, which is also known as raisins. Okay. Kind of tastes like raisins, yeah. So, Mom, you would not like this, since I know you hate raisins. But, I'm not going to do a lot. I enjoyed the whole nut more, but it's nowhere near as bad as the Turkish. I think I would go for just the nut without the raisins. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah, uh, no, it's not even a raisin. It, it, it's almost like a half-dried um, grape. I, I, mm -hmm. I'm a person who, if you give me grapes, give me grapes. If you give me raisins, give me raisins. Don't do some mediocre in, in between since it's gonna be a bad com uh, compromise. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for, for watching and I hope you enjoy the video.